Karina Guzman was just nine years old when her uncle Jose Zarate began molesting her. She kept that secret for years. My abuse began when I was between eight and nine years old. It went on for about four years. I was very emotionally removed from my family because my abuser happened to be an uncle. I, I hired the nanny and I wasn't protecting my kid. Lauren Book tells a judge how her nanny, Waldina Flores, changed her life when she sexually abused her since she was 12 years old. There isn't other people, there aren't witnesses. This is the crime that always takes place in secret. Right now our legal system is operating in a way that prefers the predator, protects the predator, and keeps the victims out of court. The response was so protective of the perpetrator and it was so dismissive of the damage to a human life. And after the church's response, I sought out an attorney. When y'all look at a sexual abuse victim, look at them in their eyes and ask me if you still see the same person that you saw two, three years ago. They're not the same. They don't think the same. They don't love the same. They don't love the same. The period that happened, you simply had no control over one of the most intimate aspects of your life. Often, all we have is the victim's account of what happened. Um, and we have to champion that. We have to go and advocate on behalf of that victim. When I asked him why he did it, he replied, it was because of the stresses of life. Every survivor I know that's done it has come out on the other side stronger, more articulate, more beautiful, more of an incredible human being whose soul has been tested and who has come out the other side heroes. You know, a victim has to wonder, is it worth it? And what we really need is for victims to understand that it's always worth it because having voice matters, being heard matters, truth matters. Miss Flores, I hope you are haunted for the rest of your life. You raped me. You beat me. I cannot make you admit to what you've done to me or even feel remorse that you've done it, but I can make sure that my family knows what you've done so that you never get the opportunity to hurt another child as you did to me. The whole time was really a message to the person who abused me. You silenced me once, but hear my voice now. Seeking that truth is the healing journey. It was about fighting to do what was right. You know, because of your determination, that person will not be able to harm another kid.